lemon, garlic, and herb lamb chops, you guys, for love day. Let me show you how easy it is to make. What's up, my beautiful YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video on the menu. Today, we are doing another Love Day or Valentine's Day romantic meal. We have us a beautiful rack of lamb here. I paid $28.54 for it. Expensive little cut of meat. So, you know, we go, we go, we go keep this real nice and simple so the meat can shine through. So, you guys, let me get this out of the packaging. Let me get it all cleaned up, washed up, trimmed up, chopped up, and I will be back to show you how I am going to cook this rack of lamb. Stay tuned. All right, beautiful people. So my uh, rack of lamb is nice and washed up. Um, now I'm just cutting them into chops, okay? I don't want to cook the rack whole. I'm going to cut these into chops, so that's what they're looking like so far. Nice little cute chops. I love fat, so I'm gonna actually not trim off um, that fat. I didn't trim off a lot of fat because it's gonna render down, and I just love fat. It just makes for more flavor. So let's get to, uh -oh, a little off, there we go. Let's get to cutting up the last few of these bones here. Okay, and the last one. Gotta find that groove, y'all. Okay. Put this knife in the sink. Okay, you guys, so because it is such a beautiful cut of meat, you guys, I don't want to do too much with it. You know, I don't wanna, I wanna keep it nice and simple. So we are going for a lemon, garlic, and herb pan seared lamb chop that's it so let me turn these bad boys over so we can get them nice and seasoned cute little dainty dainty little pieces of meat ain't they just perfect for valentine's day perfect for a nice romantic dinner so we are going in with our with my all-purpose lemon garlic and herb seasoning you guys I put that on everything lemon garlic and herb seasoning link to purchase this if you would like to try it will be in the description below so this is all that we need this um, seasoning is is lemony it's garlicky it has herbs in there that's all we're gonna season um, our lamb chops with you guys that's all you need okay but if you don't have it, I mean, keep it simple. Garlic powder, probably some pepper, or even some lemon pepper would be good. Just sometimes simple is better, especially when you pay a little bit extra for your meat. You don't want to, you want the meat to shine out. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this on both sides. Okay. Pat it in, pat it in, pat it in. Pat, 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 pat. Turn them over. Turn them over. And we're just gonna season our other side, of course. Why are we seasoning the other side? Because we eat both sides, right, y'all? Okay, go in with some of that lemon, garlic, and herb. Season it on the other side. And then we're gonna pan sear these, you guys. And um, I'm gonna brush them with some um, garlic butter that I made up, and I'll show you guys what is in that garlic butter okay press that down so these are looking great i mean this is an all-purpose lemon herb and garlic seasoning that's all you're going to need on here i'm going to transfer these over to my um, stove you guys where we are going to pan sear these up nice and beautifully and i will be back stay tuned okay fam so we are back i got my nice old trusty um stove top griddle out it's gonna have these lamb chops looking spectacular this is my baby right here y'all just have that if y'all seen any of my past videos i didn't told y'all how much i love this stove top little pan here i love it so listen y'all i'm going in with a little bit of oil this is just regular vegetable oil right now. Nothing fancy, okay? 
regular vegetable oil and let me just spread that okay all throughout that pan so this is screaming hot at least it feels screaming hot okay so let's get, get to um yep that's what you want to hear you hear that sear amen so let's put down our lamb chops perfect and these are not going to take long. These are probably going to be about, I would probably say, depending on how you like your lamb, I know the proper way, or they say the proper way to eat it is medium rare. We're not doing medium rare today. Sis, don't do medium rare, okay? Maybe medium well, but we're not doing medium rare. So you cook your lamb chops the way you want to cook your lamb chops, okay? So we are going to probably cook these, I would probably say six minutes on each side, maybe. And let me just show you guys this. Here's my um, garlic butter that I uh, made up here. This is just regular, <coughs> excuse me, unsalted butter. It is a um, some parsley. I put some onion and herb seasoning in here with a dash of Creole seasoning. And I also have a heap load, about two tea two tablespoons full of uh, freshly minced garlic in here, okay? So let's get that melted up on our other eye. Okay. I also have some fresh lemons here that I want to put in this pan so when these flavors start infusing, that lemon flavor of being there. See, that's, look at that. See how that's getting a nice sear already? See that? So we can flip these already. I don't even think it's been five minutes. Look at that. Beautiful. As soon as our butter melts, you guys, we are going to start brushing these bad boys. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Let's rotate them. Because the back ones are darkening quicker than the front. So let's just rotate them because we don't want black lamb chops. We want a beautiful, beautiful sear. Okay. So right now my fire, you guys, is on high because I needed my pan screaming hot to get a nice sear on our chops. I am about to turn my fire down to a medium. Okay, almost a medium low, you guys, okay? So these are looking beautiful already. We have our butter melting in the back. Oh, my good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Then we're just going to drizzle that. Oh, it smells good. Smelling good, smelling good. Okay, the butter is melted. Or as Zoe, who is so funny, I was watching one of his videos, Goddamn Zoe. He was cooking something. It was hilarious. I think he was cooking alligator. He was like, the butter is cooking. <laughs> it's so funny. Zoe, y'all. Do y'all watch Zoe? He is too hilarious. So I'm just going to turn these over or try to set them up just to render some of that fat on the edge, you guys. I just want to render off some of that fat and then we'll turn it back on its side. Lamb chops don't take long at all, okay? Now by the time I base all these and flip them a few more times, it's going to be to my liking. See, it's still bleeding. Nowhere near done. Still bleeding. I got the lemon in a pan just to infuse some of that nice lemon flavor. And then when that lemon hit that butter, it's going to be so good. Put those down here. So I just got those on its back. So, you guys, I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to sear and render down some of that fat on these lamb chops. And I'll be back when it's time to start basting these bad boys. Stay tuned. 
All right, y'all, so now we have seared off our um, chops on all the sides. So now let's take our beautiful melted butter. And I put those um, lemons right up in there, those charred lemons, you guys, all up in that garlic butter. See that garlic lemon butter? Oh my goodness. So guys, let's just get the brushing. Nothing to it but to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. Ooh, that smells great. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. And remember, you guys, you guys can season your um, lamb chops with whatever you want. I just figured going nice and, um, you know, just I wanted to keep it simple. I wanted to just keep mine nice and simple. So let's flip those over. And then we're just going to keep on basting these bad boys. Turn them over. Turn them over. Keep basting them with that beautiful lemon infused garlic and herb butter, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, I can't wait to sink my teeth in these. So, what I'm gonna do is keep um, basting these, you guys for probably another five minutes and then we're going to plate them up and I'm going to show you guys the finished results. Stay tuned.